Hello, how do we solve this? We have x times y equals 1, y times z equals 2, and x times z equals 3. So we are solving for x plus y plus z. So what we are going to do is we can start by making this our equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So we are going to consider some steps right away. The first step will be I can have. This is my step one. I can have equation one times equation two. Then this divided by equation three. So what is my equation one? My equation one is x times y of x y times equation two is y z. I have y z divided by equation three is x z. Of LC. So what happens? X cancel X, Z cancel C. So what do I have left? I simply have is equals Y times Y. This is Y power 2. So from here you can have so therefore Y power 2 is which is as a product of this equals what is our equation 1 again in terms of values? That is 1. We have 1 times equation 2 in terms of values. That is 2. Equation 3 in terms of values. That is 3. So this gives us 1 times 2. That is 2 over 3. So from here, we can easily have that y's power 2 equals 2 over 3. Take note of this. Let's consider the second step. This will be our step two. What we are going to do will be we have our equation one times we have equation three divided by equation two. What we have just done so far is possible combinations of this. So what is equation one? Equation one is one, equation two is two, equation three is three, then remember it's x y. That's our equation one. Equation one is x y times equation two. Oh, sorry, equation three. Equation three is what x times z. We have x z divided by equation two. Equation two is y z. We have y z. So this will give us. Z cancels Z, Y cancels Y. We have this equals X times X, and this is X power 2. So from here, we can easily have, so therefore, X power 2 equals equation 1 in terms of value is 1 times equation 3 in terms of value is 3. Don't forget that. Then divide by equation 2 in terms of value is so this gives us 1 times 3, that is 3 divided by 2. So have you seen that? So we can have x squared equals 3 divided by 2. Take note of that. Now let's consider step 3. This will be equation 2 times equation 3 divided by equation 1. And this will give us what is equation 2. Equation 2 is simply yz. We have yz times equation 3. Equation 3 is simply we have mz. We have xz divided by equation 1. Equation 1 is simply what? X to Y. But let's just confirm that it's X Y. We have X Y. Have you seen that? So this cancel this, this cancel this. So that means we have this equals Z times Z. We have Z times Z. And this is Z to the power of 2. So from here, 
we can have so therefore z power 2 equals what is the value of our equation 2 that is 2 times what is the value of equation 3 that is 3 divided by what is the value of equation 1 that is 1 remember the values these are the values 1 2 3 have you seen that so from here we can have this equals 2 times 3 that is 6 so we have z power 2 equals 6 so let's write out all this out we have x power 2 equals what x power 3 equals 2 over 3 then we have y power 2 equals what this is 3 over 2 and z power 2 equals what this is 6 so we have this 6 right here now how do we solve for x plus y plus z now let's consider this identity if you have x plus y raised to the power of 2 this will give you x squared plus y squared plus 2 times xy remember x power 2 plus y power 2 plus 2 times xy now in the same vein if i have x plus y plus z raised to the power of 2 what am i going to get i will have x power 2 plus i'll have y power 2 plus i'll have z power 2 plus then what again I will have my 2 times. Remember here we, add, we multiplied x times y to have xy. So we are going to multiply x times y again. Have xy plus y times z again. Have yz. Then I have plus. What again? Z times the first variable, which is x. Have you seen it? So we have zx or xz. Have you seen? If you follow the order of alphabet you have xz so that is it now this is what we are looking for x plus y plus z so we are going to insert these values x squared y squared z squared what is our x squared 2 over 3 we have x plus y plus z raised to the power of 2 equals x squared is 2 over 3 plus y squared is 3 over 2 plus z squared is 6 right that is correct then we have plus 2 times xy remember those values xy is 1 plus yz is 2 plus xz is 3 so let's simplify this Add this together, so I'm going to have this equals 2 over 3 plus 3 over 2 plus 6 plus 2 times this is 6. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, that is 6. So from here, I have this equals 2 over 3 plus 3 over 2 plus 6 plus 2 times 6 is, is 12. So from here, I have 2 over 3 plus 3 over 2 plus 6 plus 12. This is 18. And this 18 here is over 1. I find the common LCM that is 6. I have 6 divided by 3, 3, 3, 2. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. Plus 6 divided by 2, 3, 3 times 3, that is 9. Plus 6 divided by 1, 6, 6 times 16, 108. So this will give you 4 plus 9, 13. 13 plus 108, that's 121 divided by 6. So what is giving us this 121 divided by 6? That is it, x plus y plus series to the power of 2. We simply have x plus y plus c raised to the power of 2 equals 1 to 1 divided by 6. Right here, I take the square root, 
activity square root this cancel this fx plus y plus c equal this is plus or minus square root of 1 to 1 divided by 6. Now, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b, right? So we apply that here. This will give you plus or minus square root of 1 to 1 divided by square root of 6. And square root of 1 to 1 is 11. So from here, this gives us plus or minus 11 divided by square root of 6. We can easily rationalize the denominator. This is times root 6 divided by root 6. And this will give me plus or minus 11 times root 6. This is 11 root 6 divided by root 36. And this will give you plus or minus 11 root 6 divided by root 36, 36. So you are having two values for this, our x plus y plus z equals plus or minus 11 root 6 divided by 2. We have two values for this. We have the first one, x plus y plus z equals 11 root 6 divided by 2. We also have the second one here, which is x plus y plus z equals negative 11 root 6 divided by 2. So those are the two values for x plus y plus z. So ladies and gentlemen, a quick recap. This is quite very simple if you consider the steps. The first step, multiply equation 1 times equation 2 divided by equation 3. The second step, equation 1 times equation 3 divided by equation 2. Top step, equation 2 times equation 3 divided by equation 1. Get the values for x squared, y squared, and c squared. And once you get those values, consider this identity. This identity is very simple. x plus y plus z raised to the power of 2. This is x power 2 plus y power 2 plus z power 2 plus 2 times x times y plus y times z plus z times x. Just flow it like that. Have you seen it? So from there, you make x plus y plus z subject, then you solve for it and take the square root. So, guys, that is how you can easily solve this interesting equation. And that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and see you again.